But the first thing I want to say is, for the first time in the history of the school, when they've been in a league, it's the first time back to back, undefeated at home in conference play. That's to you guys. For those of you that show up, those of you that care, those of you guys that are passionate about our team and about our program, there's no way that we win every Big East game at home the last two years without that passion and without that energy, and we thank you very much. I won't talk very long uh, because I want it to be about them, not about me. You guys hear me talk all the time. Uh, another first in the history of Division I, managers are allowed to speak at senior day at Marquette. That's because I'm a former manager. That's not funny. If I wouldn't have been a manager, I wouldn't have had a chance to be a coach. Those four guys, George, Jim, Matt, Matt, work just as hard as our players. And what you don't see, because nobody even knows their name, our players accept those kids just as if they're a player. Our players take care of them, and they take care of our players, and that's incredibly important. Thank you. We wouldn't be 12 and four without Trent Lockett. What he has meant to our program as a person has been incredible. He's not the best player on our team, but he is an unbelievable person who works incredibly hard, who takes great pride in his work, and he has changed the ambiance of our work environment every day. Trent, thank you for coming. This is my 19th year in Division I. In the history of my career, I've never recruited, signed, coached a player from start to finish in the process. Junior is the first one. It's not because I kept taking other jobs, it's because the kids kept quitting because they couldn't handle me. <laughs> so that says a lot about Junior. In Junior's career, he's won 92 games thus far. He's been to two sweet, sweet 16s. It's assured that he's going to go to four NCAA tournaments. And most importantly, he's going to graduate in May. First and foremost, I want to thank God for putting me in this position and allowing me so many blessings in my life. And secondly, I just got to thank the Marquette family for, for welcoming me and being so humble and, and just allowing me to come in on such a short notice and making this experience as good as it has been so far. And then I just got to thank my mom. She's been there, obviously, since day one. She raised me and my sister on her own. She's one of my biggest role models. My sister, my auntie Kay, she's my second mom. Marquise, big brother, dad, mentor, everything. My cousin, Maya.
The mic is out. The mic is out. <laughs> Most importantly, these guys that surround me right now, they made this transition so easy. I don't know. I... It's so good, cuz. You good? You good? Yo, for real, this is like a family I never had. Like these guys treat me like a brother. I've never been a part of a program like this, and this makes a world of a difference. I wouldn't have been able to do it without them. Coach Buzz is the main reason I came here. I thank him for uh, teaching me so much throughout this process, all the rest of the coaching staff. And I just want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. I just want to thank the Marquette family, man. We've been through a lot of times together. You stuck with us, and you're still here now. And I respect that a lot. And I love y'all. I'm going to miss y'all, man. I want to thank Merrill Frankie, Adrian Ridgeway, Katie Schmidt, Tom Ford, you know, all the academic people for being on my, being on my butt, making sure I, I'm in study hall every day, doing my work, not BSing. I want to thank Ernest Eugene. When I had the Achilles injury, I could have gave up and said I don't want to play basketball no more, but you know, he put me through work, through pain, and I came back my freshman year to help my teammates make the NCAA tournament. I just want to thank him. I want to thank Todd Smith for pushing me. You know, when I came here, I was really out of shape. You know, Todd changed my body completely, changed my diet, and now I'm feeling good and great. <laughs> I want to thank my mom. I want to thank my other mom, Joy Clement. My little brother Shaq, my nephew, my little niece, my sister, my girlfriend Jewel, my sister, my godfather, and my big brother, man. I also want to, uh, I know my dad's watching me upstairs. You know, I talk to him every day before I go to bed. I know he's with me. Thank you, Marquette, for the best experience ever, man. I'm going to miss it. Love y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for your class of 2013. Let's hear it. Best of luck to these boys in March. We are Marquette. 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 If you smell what Marquette is cooking. <laughs>